This machine is the only machine who can climb stairs, but also run at the speed of six kilometers an hour. The last version, the last generation of this machine can also interact. It means that you can put several ASIMO together and they can collaborate together. At the end of the day, the purpose of this machine is to assist, for example, disabled or elderly people in their daily life. It means that they must be able to do this kind of task, but it's certainly not the purpose to replace human beings in their jobs. It's a new kind of job, as you have a personal computer or a mobile phone, tomorrow you will have your own personal assistant at home. You still need human beings to operate the machine. So it means that if we want one day to be able to propose this product on the market, this machine must be more autonomous. And to make the machine autonomous, we have to learn the, to the machine to learn by itself. ASIMO is still a research machine, still in development, but the engineers uh, by Honda hope that in, in the future of about 15 years to be able to release a machine that people will be able to buy. The research on robotics starts in 86 in Japan with what we call two walking legs. After that we, have, we had a, a kind of fridge on legs, it was a signal box, and it's only in 91 that we have a first humanoid robot with a human-like shape. But this machine, Asimo, was released in 2000, the first one, and the running one that you have seen today was released in 2005. We think that we find the right size and the right physical capabilities. No uh, engineers are working on the brain of the machine, of what we call the brain. Huh? It's not human brain. It, it must work like human-like brain, but it remains computers. To jest jeden z najbardziej za zaawansowanych humanoidalnych robotów na świecie. E, ja miałem okazję obserwować tego robota w akcji 7 lat temu w Barcelonie i muszę powiedzieć, że on jest dużo bardziej zaawansowany niż wtedy. E, robot e, chodzi po schodach, biega, gra w piłkę, tańczy, jest bardzo uprzejmy e, i podaje herbatę. Podał herbatę ambasadorowi Japonii, nie rozlewając ani odrobiny, więc naprawdę byłem pod wrażeniem.